usually is really doesn't matter when it comes to national attention on the presidential race. But today, Oregon making news when it comes to President Trump's re-election campaign. And that's because CNN is reporting the Trump campaign may add staff here in Oregon. Our Lisa Balick joins us now live downtown with more on this. And I know you got some reaction to all this, Lisa. Absolutely. Now, even though Election Day is more than a year away, the Trump campaign wants to take a closer look at Oregon voters to see if he has perhaps more support than a lot of people may think. And I'm told that one of the states that the Trump campaign is considering putting resources in is Oregon. And now the reason that's uh, a what? <laughs> a surprise to many today hearing this news on CNN. After all, the last time Oregon voted for a Republican for president, it was Ronald Reagan more than 30 years ago. It was a little bit of a shock at first. Um, you know, what the Trump administration represents really is, clashes with Oregon values, and um, I, it, it was surprising. In 2016, presidential candidate Hillary Clinton beat Donald Trump in Oregon by 11 percent. Here, Democrats have held the governor's seat since 1987, Portland's mayor and two U.S. senators, Democrats as well. But the CNN report is from a memo they obtained from the Trump campaign's pollster, who says the campaign is now looking at ways to give the president more options to get the electoral votes needed for re-election. And it indicates spending money on campaigning here in Oregon with staff and advertising needs to be looked at. There's really a lot of people that fall into that non-affiliated voter category, the swing voter category. They're in the suburbs. They can see what's happening. And frankly, they can see that problems really aren't being solved in this state. Many rural areas of Oregon are Republican, Eastern Oregon with the lone Republican congressman. But it's those unaffiliated voters, not with any political party, who could be up for grabs. Now, remember, it was back in 2016, May of 2016, that then-candidate Donald Trump was visiting Eugene. Now, if he comes back, we understand perhaps he may take a look at visiting Southern Oregon. We will be there, that's for sure, if and when he comes back. Back to you. This 